Okay, so for this next problem, they want me to simplify this equation that has a bunch of radicals. And the most important thing to know before we start is that something like the square root of 45 is the same thing as saying the square root of 45 times the square root of 1, or the same thing as saying the square root of 9 times the square root of 5. As long as the number under the radical is a factor of 45, they can be multiplied together inside the radical and become that square root of 45. So let me start out by writing a factor tree for this number 45. So I can split that into 9 and 5, 3 and 3. And this is good because 9 is a perfect square. This is a number that you can take the square root of. So these are the numbers that I want to use because I know that that 9 can split into two 3s. So let me write the 45 as the square root of 9 times the square root of 5 because I know that this square root of 9 can just turn into a regular 3. And let me keep that 4 on the outside. So for the next one, let me see what square root I can take out of the number 180. Because the number 180 does not have a perfect square, but it might have a perfect square hidden in its factors. So I have to keep that 2 there. And then let's write the factor tree for the number 180. So that can turn into 18 and 10. That turns into 9 and 2. That turns into 5 and 2. And we have that 9 again. And 9 is a perfect square that we can take out. So I'm going to multiply that by the square root of 9. And I also have two 2's here, which means I can multiply that by the square root of 4, which does just equal a 2. And then i got to multiply it by that last factor there, the square root of 5. So now I have a bunch of different things that I'll be able to get rid of the square root sign later on. And if you look at this, you can check it by knowing that 9 times 4 times 5 equals 180. Now for the last one, I'm going to have to add 3. And let's write our factor tree for the number 20. So that can be 2 and 10 and 5 and 2. So because I have 2 of a number there, I have two 2's, and 2 squared is 4, I know that I can take out the square root of 4. And then my only other factor that I'm left with is this 5. So I can also multiply that by the square root of 5. Now let me just go left to right and get rid of all those numbers that I can actually square. So that can be 4 times 3 because the square root of 9 is 3, times the square root of 5, because I can't actually take the square root of 5. Minus 2 times 3 again, times 2, times the square root of 5. And let me put these in parentheses, just so I don't get confused. Plus 3 times 2, times the square root of 5 again. And this is a good sign. We are only left with one radical, and they are all a common radical, which is good. We only have the square root of 5 left. So let's just go and do some more simplification. So this 4 times 3 can become 12. 2 times 3 is 6 times 2 is 12. 3 times 2 is 6. And now I have 3 terms with the same radical. So this is just 12 root 5. This is negative 12 root 5, and this is positive 6 root 5. And I can just add and subtract that outer part of the radical and put it all next to the same radical. So 12 minus 12 is 0, plus 6 is 6, so I end up with 6 root 5. 